Chris Amire with you, Jay Sunhalter alongside. Uh, boy, Jay, a tough one for Campbell, a fumble return for a touchdown by Georgetown in the final two minutes of the game ends up being the difference. Campbell loses a hard-fought game, 16-10, to to a very good Georgetown team. So many positives that Campbell can take away from this game. Outstanding defensively. A lot of stars and a lot of great plays by the wide receivers. Robbins protected the football. He was very efficient throwing the ball tonight, did a good job eluding the pass rush, but just came down to the fourth quarter, making a couple critical plays, converting in the red zone. That's what really happened, that one turnover. Then that final opportunity on that last drive with the two-minute drill but a lot of learning examples they can go back to watch the film this week and get better from. Well, a couple turnovers uh, in the red zone. The defense really showed up, but like you said, we said coming into this game, Georgetown is a team as good as the top teams in Campbell's Pioneer Football League. So Campbell knows uh, one play here or there. They would have came away with the win, and they know they can play with these type of teams who are the teams that they're going to have to beat if they want to win the Pioneer Football League. Well, we talked in the pregame. This is going to be a test. Where are you going to stack up? And I think they, they stack up really well. It's going to build a lot of confidence. It hurts right now, but if you go back and watch the film, see all the positive things, that's going to build them up. If you correct a couple mistakes, you come away with victory, get better next week, get into the PFL League, and use this game as a boost to catapult you, I think it can be a great learning opportunity, even though it hurts for the team right now. Well, the crowd was great. Over 5,800 here, a top 10 all-time Barker Lane Stadium crowd. Unfortunately, we're going to have to wait till September 30th when Campbell comes back home to Moorhead State. On the road for the next two games, they'll be on the road next week, 7 o'clock at Presbyterian and FCS scholarship club as that game will be at seven o'clock we'll be able to bring you live play-by-play coverage on 88.3 fm wuaw with links at gocamels.com we'll talk to you next week